Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play 60 Seconds. My name is Weasel. With me is the Wheatley, and we're going to do the divorce challenge suggested by Ganaram Inukshuk. I hope I'm saying that right. I, ho I hope I totally butchered your name. Please, sorry, it's Ganaram Inukshuk. It's a description. Anyway, we're going to play the divorce challenge, and the divorce challenge goes as follows. We're going to have to survive alone after the divorce. Wherever Dolores spawns in the house, this side is hers. All the items on her side are off limits. I can't touch it. She wanted it in a divorce, uh, including the kids. So where's Dolores? Dolores is... Dolores? Where are you, honey? There she is. Okay. So she gets the bathroom and the kitchen. Damn it. And she gets Timmy because Timmy is on the left. He's, he's actually totally in the middle. And I don't think I can get him. Uh, the house is pretty much split in two halves. So I get the boys got a book on Mary Jane, so at least that's something. Uh, some water. Yeah, I'm definitely not getting the good deal from this divorce. It wasn't just... It, it wasn't happening anymore in the bedroom. And one day she decided, yep, I want a divorce. I want a divorce. She had an affair with the tennis coach. Jeff. Jeff. I, I'm, I'm coming for you, buddy. I'm, I'm coming for you. If it wasn't for that silly nuke. Oh. Error, error, error to the shelter. Okay, so I get to pretty much scavenge this one last room. Actually, this side on the bathroom. No med kit. That's on the other side of the house. Give me that. Oh, there's one bottle, two bottles of water. No. Oh, this is no good. I don't have enough time. Time takes three, two, one. What can you do? Well, Timmy, sorry. Your mom got custody of you and now you're obliterated into probably nothing. You're very likely going to die with your mother. But... The court said, I can't have you. I could have my daughter. We don't have any food. That's no good. No food. Well, we got some useful items of water. So that means we're definitely going to have to send Murray Jane out scavenging. Uh, not on day one, obviously. But we're going to prepare for the next day. Sorry about my voice. It's a little bit hoarse. I think that's what you say. Yeah, it's hoarse. Uh, we could barely sleep after all that arguing. Well, sorry, honey. I couldn't do anything. It's not my fault. That the court said I couldn't keep you and that I was mentally unstable. Hug mug. Very good. It is day three on our endeavor together. Living the past is not wise in our current situation. We need to think of today and tomorrow. Everyone has to drink sometimes, including Mary Jane. Is there any water left? <clears throat> Ted is really thirsty. Well, it's not gonna happen, but we're gonna send Mary Jane outside. I know, I know. We're feeling pretty optimistic about today's expedition. The radiation poisoning won't harm us, because a friend I know said so. Radiation poisoning is something made up by the government. There is actually no radiation. That is just to keep you in check. Wake up, sheeple. Mary Jane went outside. Let's hope she hurries back soon. Ted looks like he got one foot in the grave. He needs to get a drink right now. Well, well, well. We feel that we should do about some interior decoration. The Feng Shui is really off in our fallout shelter. While we're moving things around, we found a secret door. What's behind it? What's the bird doing? Bird? He's up for Shane. He's on the floor. Why would you do that? Get out of here. Well, he's always up for shenanigans. Anyway, what we felt we should do about our interior decoration, I don't know. I don't know what we should do about it, but we found a secret door and what's behind it. Let's find out with that flashlight. Yeah, he Wheatley is always up to shenanigans. And then he runs around the floor and bites me in the foot. It's, it's great fun. All right, so we inspected every corner of the room and found nothing. Well, that was a waste of time. Ted looks like he got one foot in the grave. He needs to get a drink right now. Well, I, w I was hoping there was like, I don't know, soup in there maybe. Because he's not going to go far if we don't find soup now. We've been wondering what happened to Uncle Brian. Who cares? He's probably dead. Like most people. In the apocalypse. Anyway, we got the Boy Scout book so we can look at the pictures. Uh, we did. The photo we were looking for was stuck between the pages. Excuse me. Pages of the Scout Handbook. What a lucky coincidence. It's a bit blurry, but it's a wonderful surprise. This morning has been calm enough for Ted. He's been doing well. Good, good. Let's just hope. Ah, oh, the government announced that it will be dropping crates filled with supplies. I don't have a gas mask, so I can't get those supplies. That's a really big bummer. It is day seven, and Ted is probably going to get hungry soon. Ted's stomach is rumbling, and my little girl isn't back yet. All right, it's day seven, and we know very little about what's going on outside. Let's listen in with the radio and make sure we we're not missing any out on those cool news. 
Day 8. Look, looks, looks good to me. We can do this, guys. If she comes back, we're good. We were able to get a weak signal and tap into the government's emergency announcement system. And guess what? Guess what? Great news. The fallout outside has mostly gone. Well, it doesn't help Mary Jane so much because, you know... She's been out for the last five days. Ted's stomach is rumbling. If Ted doesn't drink, he won't last long. Well, I really hope that Mary Jane comes back. She's probably going to be very sick. So anything she brings back is highly appreciated. I do have a good feeling about this because she's out for so long now. Good news, the government made a radio broadcast about extracting survivors from our area. The announcer asked everyone listening to wait a while longer. Ted is hungry. Ted looks like he got one foot in the grave. <sighs> Dolores... Seriously? All the food? All the soup? What did I do to deserve that? Well, I don't think she got any water. I got so much water. And I forgot. I, I, I couldn't even get the last two bottles. So I honestly think they might have had one bottle of water. Playing with matches is never a good idea. Doing it so in a tiny underground shelter is probably even lower on the good idea scale. A few matches later and we ended up with flames licking up the walls. Time is short, we need to put it out and save our supplies. What do we save? I'm gonna say we're gonna save the radio. As much as I like the Boy Scout book, the radio is the only thing that might save us. One can of soup. One can of soup and ammunition. That's all you got. One can of soup. And one boy's and a bottle of water, of course. What's happening here? We need our source of information. Yeah, definitely. Where did she go? Oh, our own backyard. Our street was a good choice. All right, it's a neighbors. We looted the neighbors, and the Indiana Jones fridge. One can of soup, one bottle of water, one boy's. Oh, I actually got back a Boy Scout book. I was lying. What a lucky coincidence! Just as I as as I burned it because I played with matches, we're gonna get our Boy Scout book back. That's awesome. All right, an ammunition. Ted is hungry. Well, I bet he is. Soup for both, water for both. And I wish I could prepare an expedition, but Mary Jane is the only one I can send out. And since I don't have... I don't have anything. I, I wish I could do something. I don't know if there's an event from which I can get a med kit. Mary Jane is hungry. Ted is hungry. Well... I would love to give you guys some food, but if I give you food now, you're very likely going to die. <sighs> well... Food or no food, that's a question. They're both still hungry. But I think if I space it out a little bit, I have bigger chances. Ah, it's fine. I'm gonna give him food. I'm gonna give him food. Because if you don't... Well, he's been hungry for a few days now. We need to feed him at least two times. Sorry, Mary Jane. I'm gonna give it to your dad. <laughs> and then... Well, nothing I can do about that. Oh, the problem is simple. If we don't wash ourselves, we'll get sick. Seriously sick. It smells really bad on here and doesn't seem like it gets any better over the next couple of days. That is really good. I will actually... Only feed Ted. And I think if we rub the ammunition on us, we're actually going to get cured. At least that happened before. It might have been a bug and it might be fixed now. But... If we get rid of our smells and start rubbing the powder on us from the guns, from the bullets, sorry, then we will be healed. It is very odd. It is a very odd thing. And I hope it actually happens. Yeah, she's healed. Would you look at that? Ha, the magic. Listen to the gospel of the gunpowder. It's here to heal you because that's what gospels do. I don't know. Dirty or not, it's the smell that's the biggest issue here. How do we deal with that? Well, we've got some spare ammo, so why not use the gunpowder to kill the smell? Let's rub it in. Sounds like a brilliant idea. Maybe, maybe the gunpowder has radiation removing properties. You heard it here first, folks. In case of an emergency, rub gunpowder. No, don't, please, please don't rub. Call the ambulance. Call, call help. Don't rub gunpowder on you. Mary Jane is quite hungry. Mary Jane is all well now. Ted's stomach is rumbling. Okay. So, I think I'm going to give Ted one more soup, or I'm going to give her one more soup. We need to get her to get better. If she doesn't get better soon, we can't send her out. She, see, she will die if she goes outside because she's tired. Less because she's hungry, but I'm considering giving her food, so, hmm. You know what? It, it'll be fine. Remember that time that Mary Jane went out to scavenge supplies? When she got back, she had a wound in her forearm. Nothing serious, she claimed, but it looked like something had bitten her. Now that injury is looking much worse, we fear it may be infected. 
We have to clean it up. Or cut it off. You know what? I'm going to do that. Do that. I don't want her to get sick again. Unless we screw it up. Nope, she's fine. Ah, uh, Mary Jane got the wrong idea when we brandished the axe. She tried to limp out of the bunker. Fortunately, she, fortunately we, she was too slow and we were able to explain our intentions before she ran off. Hating the axe blade allowed us to clean the wound and stop it from festering. Yum, 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 yum. Mary Jane died could use a little food. I know, Ted is hungry. Guys, I, I can't help you. I just hope that she wakes up. We decided to peek outside for just a minute to see if the store on the corner was still standing. Oh, the monster in the darkness. I'm just gonna shine at it. It's pancake, but we can't help pancake. We can't even help ourselves, which is a big bummer. And I don't... Maybe the Merryman will come by. Maybe the Merryman will bring us a med kit. That would be fantastic. All right, let's see. Mary Jane's diet could use a little food. Water is what Mary Jane needs the most. Ted is really thirsty. Ted. I think only Ted is going to survive. I'm going to prepare an expedition for day 15. Maybe she will do feel better. Wasteland is full of surprises. Like this man on the other side knocking, claiming he's willing to offer a lot for decent ammunition. I'm going to give him the checker sport just in the hope that he's like, what the frick are you guys doing? You need food. You're clearly... Okay. He's laughing at me. That's We offered checkers instead of ammunition. The visitor was quite confused and tried to explain to us what ammunition is. We pretended to understand nothing. It was very amusing until he left with our checker sport. Asshole. Well... I was hoping maybe he would give us something. You never know how an event might play out. There's so many variations to it. Or at least, you know, two, two, three variations to it. So might have been possible that he felt bad for us and gave us... F never mind. Mary Jane is quite hungry. Ted wants a drink. All right. Water is no problem. <sighs> Who should go outside? Ted is the only person I can send. But if I do that, the game is over. You would think that Mary Jane could survive in the... Ooh, look at her. She's not tired anymore. We can actually send her out, I think, now. Unless she dies tomorrow, so that would be really a bummer. Yes, Mary Jane is feeling excellent. Those are great news. Another broadcast from the military. They said they need to locate the general area we're in and that they want us to leave specific markings close by. Which we do with playing cards, which you don't have. Damn it, my wife got it in the divorce. As usual. Or Ted's wife. Dolores. Damn it, we missed our chance to let the military know where we are. Mary Jane's diet could use a little food. Ted's stomach is rumbling. Hmm. I wonder how long he will survive. Let's hope she does well. I mean, we're gonna send her out. The fall has mostly gone, so she might even come back healthy if we're super lucky. You just gotta survive a little bit longer, Ted. Mary Jane went outside. Let's hope she hurries back soon. Okay, it's day 18. We're about to take a cautious peek outside when a furry beast jumped at us. Oh, I would love to give you food. Good boy. Pancake. But we don't have any soup left, and if I had some soup, I really would need it myself, so no pancake this time. I had to not feed him. The last thing we're going to do is feed strays when we have barely enough to keep ourselves alive. None of us are very happy about it, but that's how it is. I agree. Ted's stomach is rumbling, and he needs a drink soon. Well, tomorrow. Mary Jane, our fate depends on you. Day 20. Let's get some water in you, Ted. Let's keep you hydrated. You could lose a few pounds. I'm just saying. You wouldn't die. Haida was approached by a man. We didn't know. He claimed he used to be an accountant. And now he would gamble for water. Water is not my problem, dear man. I need food. I would gamble my bottles of water for food. If you would bring something to gamble with. Never get that. Anyway, Ted is looking very weak. If he doesn't eat today, it might rent really badly. Ted, you gotta survive. This is terrible. We can't sleep. We've been having problems with sleeping ever since we got down here, but now it's worse than ever. If we don't deal with this problem, we won't be able to cope with any other challenges that await us outside these thin shelter doors. Well, Ted is going to be very tired now. Or he dies. One of those two things. He's super hungry. All right, Ted looks very weak. If he doesn't eat today, it might end really badly. Mary Jane, we need you. Mary Jane. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Mary Jane was supposed to be back in a few days. It's been too long. We fear something bad has happened to her. Oh my god, she's dead. Ah, it looks like the challenge wasn't as successful as I was hoping to be. Divorce is really nasty. It, it, it affects the kids in ways you never know. For example, Mary Jane is probably dead. So is Timmy. Guess what? We already got ourselves very rare on Fallout Garden. We've got a bunch of mushrooms growing on the walls. They're big enough to be eaten. How about that? Should we prepare a mushroom feast today? Well, I'm kind of really... What do you call it? Desperate. Also, I just got a bird. That just happened. Hey, bird. Uh, yes, let's prepare a mushroom feast. 
that might keep us alive. Who knows? Mushrooms. No, it didn't do the trick. I, I was really hoping for it, that the mushrooms would save us. Saved by mushrooms. That's a headline. We learned something today. Tomato soup is our best friend and mushrooms aren't. Yuck. There's so many days a man can survive without food. Ted was strong, but it was too much for him. He starved to death. Of all places we could have perished, this is probably the best one. Or maybe not. So, so you're just leaving me again. Typical. Typical Wheatley. We survived for 23 days. That was the Divorce Challenge, ladies and gentlemen. Suggested again by Ganama, Gan, Gana, Ganaram Inukshuk. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like. If you have an idea for a cool challenge, leave it in the comments below. Uh, if you see one that you like, make sure to vote it up. And I'm Weasel. I'm out. And I hope to see you around. Bye-bye.